So, um, this week I've seen watching some videos on QGs from Carl Clarkson and I discovered something really interesting and I just wanted to share it up and also because I need to practice a little bit my talking to see if I can get better because of recent uh, surgery. So, um, have Polygon here and you want to know you know quadrants offset from central and so forth and i just found out that if you go to this here and you check show candidates for debugging you can actually see the rectangle so if i go to the center that's the center i just added the geometry uh centroid for the polygons using geometry generator but this is really cool because then I can see this is the box. So if I select this, you can see that the box is anchored on this corner. Then it's on the middle. And so forth. So this is actually nice to see how things actually work all around. Now, I do think it would be nice to have a little bit more control. Because if I go to around central, it is true. I can have my label around the center but i don't really have so much control around where i really want it and maybe maybe i just wanted to allow this position here and maybe this and probably this so one two three and the rest blocking or lower so a little bit similar to what you can do in uh arcgis i think where you can select one two three four two eight and i don't think they have a centroid option but in this case you know um zero will be blocking but i might want to, this one to be my first choice and then i want this one to be my second choice and probably this will be my third choice and i can have either this one or this one as three and then i don't want definitely this one this one this one and all of those things may um allowed to have a more automatic thing and honestly i don't know if it's currently possible in uh, qjs i'm using 3.20 version if it is sorry about that if it's not would it be like a nice addition to allow people to say well i want to allow labels here here maybe this one you know and just one two three four and select or put a number or something like that that could be really useful hope um you are using qjs and learning all of this if not i recommend you go to like a car carson's sorry if i didn't pronounce it correct um youtube channel or you can go also to a special um what's called qjs tutorials online and you can also get some more info those are like two of the ones that i follow along that provide like really good info and because you know people usually do not read the manuals too much uh, i think so hopefully this works out 